my channel it is your girl Brittany Jade and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a power hour of my house today is Thursday and I'm not sure exactly when you guys are going to be watching this video but I am home from work on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I woke up today and my house was a complete disaster I'm gonna be taking you through a power hour because my child just went down for a nap and my other one is watching a movie so I'm going to be starting a timer on my phone for one hour and the main areas that I'm going to be taking care of today is I'm gonna be cleaning up my bedroom a little bit just like making the bed because I woke up this morning and like didn't even make my bed because I woke up so late and then I'm going to be going downstairs cleaning up the kitchen because it is an absolute disaster like I'm talking about I didn't even clean up after dinner before I went to sleep last night that's a long story but I typically like to have a clean house when I wake up in the morning wasn't the case today so I thought I would take you guys along with me and just give you some ultra cleaning motivation and show you that it can be done in an hour so I'm going to be setting my timer for one hour because I don't want to spend a bunch of time doing this so I'm gonna set the timer for one hour there and I will be taking you guys through everything that I'm cleaning so I hope that y'all enjoy this video if you do please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one let's get to cleaning so first things first before I get to cleaning I'm definitely gonna power up with some of my performance energy drink and I'm going to turn on a good podcast I really love cleaning and listening to podcasts I just feel like I get something inspirational in with my day and it just kind of keeps me motivated and gives me something to listen to I'm going to go ahead and get a load of laundry started so I decided that I would change my sheets today. I try to change my sheets at least once a week so this is something that's really quick and easy for me to tackle. I'm so excited for today's video because it is in collaboration with my friend Ali Elaine and she has an awesome YouTube channel filled with cleaning content and mommyhood content. She is a stay at home mom to two babies and an older girl. So she's got three kids and she is just gorgeous and really funny and she has tons of great videos and cleaning inspiration over on her channel. So I'm sure that you guys would love her videos as well. Make sure that when you're done with this video, you go ahead and check her video out and I'll have that link down in my description box below for you guys. One thing that I really love about doing a power hour clean is that it's something that I can time and that I can actually look at on my phone and it really helps me to stay focused on the task at hand. I don't feel like I have to get bogged down with deep cleaning or doing anything too extra. I just get to focus on doing things to tidy up the appearance of how things look and just kind of make me feel better about how everything's looking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out some laundry here like I said and I'm gonna bring the laundry downstairs to get started laundry is always an easy thing for me to do when I'm having like cleaning days because you can just have the laundry going pretty much all day you don't really have to put your clothes away right away if you don't want to so I just feel like it's always good to have loads of laundry going while you're cleaning So the purpose of this power hour is really, like I said, to just get everything kind of clean on a surface level. So I am going to be 
cleaning out the dishes that I have that are dirty in my sink, but in order to do that, I have to empty out my dishwasher. This is something I like to tackle in the beginning of the day, but seeing as how our mornings got off to a rough start, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and empty the dishes that are in the sink and put them in the dishwasher, and I'm just gonna get everything ready to go for later on tonight when I run the dishwasher. Just getting everything out of your sink and having a clean sink really helps to give your kitchen the appearance of looking cleaner, in my opinion. Another focus on a power hour clean is to focus on the quick daily tasks, things that take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So keeping up with the dishes or trying to keep up with them throughout the week whenever you can, can really help to lessen the burden on your daily cleaning routine. I really like to make sure that I go to sleep at night with the dishes at least loaded into the dishwasher and started, but if I can't do that, then I'll definitely make sure that they're done in the morning and this just really helps to get everything going faster. Another tip that I have to keep you guys going throughout this power hour is to keep yourself motivated by putting on some music or an audiobook or turning on a podcast like I stated earlier. You want to utilize anything that's going to help you to stay motivated to keep going for the entire hour. You can just think of this as another way to get your cardio in for the day. It's just something that's going to keep your mind busy and just really help you hone in on getting all of your cleaning tasks done. I like to sanitize all of TJ's bottles and my pump parts at least once a day, and I typically do this at night, but I had a bunch of bottles left over from the day before, so I am just going to wash them all in hot soapy water, and I really love this Avent bottle sanitizer. We've had this since we had our daughter, and it's great, and I'll definitely have that link down below for you guys. So I'm just going to do a really quick spray and wipe down of my counter and surfaces. Again, this is just something to do to make it a really quick tidy up. I'm not really focusing too heavily on wiping behind my appliances or giving this like a really deep clean or anything. I'm just doing a solid wipe down, making everything look pretty nice on the surface level again. And this is just another great way to tackle your power hour clean. You just want to tidy up, put everything back in its place and get the counters disinfected and this is going to just really pull this room all together. Let me know down in the comments if you're somebody who follows a weekly cleaning routine in your home or if you implement a power hour already where you set aside one hour a week to just tackle like really quick, easy cleaning tasks. Drop down in the comments and let me know. And if you're still hanging out here and you haven't already, please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and make sure that you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. Leaving me those comments and subscribing to my channel really does help me and I really appreciate Appreciate you guys for all of your support. So one of my tips to stay up on laundry is to try and do at least one load every other day and this really helps me to keep up on my crazy laundry baskets that just get out of hand if I don't stay on top of them. So I'm going to just quickly hit my couch with my handheld vacuum compartment. I really love this vacuum. I've talked about it before. It is the Dyson V8 Shark Animal. I'll have that link down below in the description box for you guys, but 
Keeping up on getting all of the crumbs out of this couch is a definite must because my toddler does not listen when I say not to eat on it. So it's essential for me to keep it clean and this is definitely something that I like to implement in my power hour. I think that having a clean couch just really pulls the room all the way together. So that's definitely something that I like to do is just fluff the cushions, but give it a quick vacuum and put everything back neatly the way that it was, the pillows and blankets. And it just really quickly and easily pulls this room all together. Then I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum of our rug and I'm loving our new rug and I'm so glad that I went ahead and got a different rug in here because when the baby starts moving around, it's gonna be so much easier to keep clean. On busy weeks like this, when I'm not able to stick to my weekly cleaning routine, which has happened a lot since I've gone back to work, then I like to incorporate this power hour cleaning at least once a week. I just make a list of all the tasks I wasn't able to complete throughout the week and I try to tackle as many as I can in an hour. I'm just gonna take out the trash because I do like to do this daily and I'm going to go ahead and switch everything out here and just make everything nice and clean and it's not gonna have any weird smells, which I I really love it just gonna give the kitchen a nice refreshed smell all right you guys so I ran out of time I went over my one hour by about eight minutes but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the cleaning there I feel pretty good about everything that I got done today it's not super deep clean or anything but it just makes everything look a little bit more presentable and it makes me feel way better about taking the rest of the day to just relax and hang out with the kids so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss any more videos from me and I will catch you guys in my next one bye and make sure that you guys head over to my friend Allie's channel to watch her Power Hour Clean and also follow her on her social medias. I'll have that linked in my description box below for you guys. Have a great one. Bye.